welcome to Georgia Piedmont Technical College. My name is Kristen Courtkill, and I'm the Director of High School Initiatives. And I have the great pleasure of working with our students and school partners in DeKalb, Newton, and Rockdale counties. We're so excited you're interested in the High School Dual Enrollment Program. It's a great opportunity for eligible students to get a jump start on their college and career experience. I have a lot of information to share in this presentation, so if you're ready, let's get started. The dual enrollment staff is here to support you. I've already introduced myself, and we have three other team members who will be working with you as you enroll and continue on in the program. While we are all here to assist, you do have an assigned staff member based on your high school. If you attend a DeKalb charter school, private school, or homeschool student, or if you're a DeKalb County student, Mrs. Thomas is your assigned coordinator. If you're a DeKalb County student or a Decatur High School student, you'll be working with Mr. Igbonaguam. And if you live in Newton or Rockdale counties, you'll be working with Mrs. Mullinax. So let's talk a little bit about what dual enrollment is. Dual enrollment is an opportunity to take college level academic and occupational courses that will prepare you for a career or transfer to a four year college or university. Eligible students are able to take classes in 10th through 12th grade and pay little at no cost. The great benefit of dual enrollment is you're earning high school and college credit at the same time, which can sort shorten your time to obtaining a college degree, diploma, or certificate. Before we go any further, I want to make sure you're aware of some recent changes to the laws governing dual enrollment and students receiving funding. Students are now capped at receiving 30 funded credit hours. To take academic courses like English, math, science, students have to be in 11th or 12th grade. Students in 10th grade are eligible for taking CTAE courses that align with a pathway like computers, business, welding, etc. only. Students are no longer able to repeat courses due to not passing or withdrawing from classes. And students who withdraw from more than two classes during their entire time in the dual enrollment program will no longer be eligible for funding. So all of these rule changes are for receiving dual enrollment funding. Students do have the option of paying for classes themselves. If you pay for a class yourself, it is up to the high school to determine if the class will count on your high school transcript. So before registering, please make sure you've communicated your class request with your high school counselor. I encourage you to review the Georgia Futures website to see more detailed information on dual enrollment funding eligibility to view your Georgia Futures status and search the approved course directory. So let's talk about the benefits of registering for dual enrollment. Some of the main benefits are saving money and time. Because students can take up to 30 credits without paying tuition, the cost of books, and most fees, you could potentially save thousands of dollars in college tuition by participating in dual enrollment. Studies also show that students who take dual enrollment classes are more likely to graduate from college and in a shorter amount of time. And with the convenience of taking classes at a GPTC campus through GPTC online or at one of our participating high schools, there are lots of opportunities to enroll. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, is dual enrollment real college? And the answer is a resounding yes. Any class that you take through dual enrollment is going to become part of your permanent high school and college records. This can be a great help to you, but if you run into trouble or decide to blow off classes, it can negatively impact you down the road, even if you think the class is not an important one or not needed. These classes will all be part of your permanent record and can affect transferring after high school graduation and future financial aid. So it's important that you keep that in mind if you decide to enroll and as you go through the dual enrollment program. So let's talk about some specifics about dual enrollment at GPTC. You may be wondering, why should I enroll with Georgia Piedmont Technical College? GPTC is one of the oldest technical colleges in Georgia, covering a three county service district of DeKalb, Newton, and Rockdale counties we have a large and diverse student body that represents the community that we serve. Students choosing GPTC look at our open access policy, 
meaning that all students are accepted to our college, but placement scores will determine your course eligibility. Students can also take classes at a GPTC campus, through GPTC online, or you may have a high school that's offering classes on the high school campus. We have agreements with all of the colleges in the technical college system of Georgia guaranteeing transfer of credits, partnership with the university system of Georgia guaranteeing transfer of 28 core classes, and additional agreements with other college and universities both in-state and out-of-state so students can feel confident that their experience at GPTC will set them up for the future. GPTC programs are held within several schools, focusing on both academic and career credentials. There are more than 40 programs of study and hundreds of courses to choose from, meaning that whatever your interests, we have a place for you at GPTC. When you, if you're looking at applying to GPTC, one of the questions on the application was what program of study are you going to pursue? You may select interdisciplinary studies to take general education courses, or you may have an interest in a particular subject area like criminal justice or nursing. Whatever your pathway is, there are different levels of coursework that are offered. A TCC is a specialized curriculum, some as short as one semester, preparing you for a career. Diplomas are similar to a TCC in that they are a specialized program in specific career fields, but can take up to two years to complete. An associate degree is a program that can transfer into a four-year college or prepare you for a career. Whatever your program of study is will guide what classes you take while enrolled. If you sign up to do computer programming, for example, you're not going to be enrolling in a welding course. And if you signed up for automotive, it would not make sense for you to take cosmetology. Your programs of study help keep you on track towards your credential and your high school graduation. Students also have the option of pursuing an option B graduation path. This is how you can earn a high school diploma through dual enrollment. Students can elect to take these core classes listed and either earn an associate's degree, technical diploma, or two technical certificates in targeted pathways from GPTC or one of the other technical colleges in Georgia, and you can complete high school that way. This is a great option for students who have a specific career field in mind and want a chance to get started right away. If there is something that you're interested in, I encourage you to speak with your high school counselor for more information, as the decision to be an option B student is going to be made with your parents and with your high school counselor. So let's get started on the enrollment process with dual enrollment. There are four key parts of enrolling in the dual enrollment program at GPTC. First is placement testing. Students can be exempt from placement testing if they have an unweighted GPA at the high school of a 2.5. If you have that, you do not need to do any testing. If your GPA is not a 2.5 or higher, or if you're not sure what your GPA, GPA is, you can submit placement scores of SAT, ACT, or PSAT. If your scores are beneath the minimum entrance requirements, you can take the AccuPlacer with GPTC at no cost. Once you've satisfied placement testing, you do have to apply to the dual enrollment program. To apply, you'll first complete an admissions application online through the GPTC website. There's also a new student packet that you will complete and submit to the dual enrollment office. This has permission forms in it, so you do need to work with your parent or guardian as you complete the new student packet. The third part of the application process is your Georgia Futures funding application. This is done at the Georgia Futures website, www.gafutures.org. This funding application is how your classes are paid. There's a part that you will create and a part that your parent will also create in the Georgia Futures funding application. If you and your parent do not complete the funding application or make arrangements to pay for classes prior to the start of the semester yourself, 
we're not going to be able to enroll you in classes for dual enrollment. Georgia Futures is also how your counselor gives permission for you to take classes. There may be a process with your high school that has some additional steps, but everyone taking dual enrollment in Georgia and receives funding has to complete the Georgia Futures funding application and have the school counselor permission. If you're a homeschool student, your parent or guardian will act as the counselor, and that is how your classes are approved. If any one of these four steps is missing, your application is going to be on hold and we're not able to move forward with the enrollment process. Once you've finished the application process, you will get notification from GPTC that your application is complete and you'll be in touch with the dual enrollment office about registering for classes. Like I said, in order to register for classes, you do have to have that Georgia Futures funding application on file or communicated, communicated with the dual enrollment office that you'll be paying for classes yourself. When you register every semester, you will actually be signed up for classes by a dual enrollment coordinator. Until you're registered in the GPTC system by a dual enrollment coordinator, you're not actually enrolled in classes. Anytime you add or drop classes has to be approved by both your high school counselor and your dual enrollment coordinator. And this is how we can better ensure that you are taking the approved classes and are on track to complete your high school and college credentials. Once you're registered, you're able to view the class schedule and see what you're registered for in our student systems. A few more things about your experience as a dual enrollment student that are important for you to know. At the college level, students who receive accommodations inside or out of the classroom must self-identify with our special services office. Your IEP or 504 plan or any other arrangement that you have in place with your high school does not automatically transfer to the college. If you do not register with our offices, your accommodations will not be in place. Please be advised that services begin once all documentation is submitted and complete and they are not retroactive. Meaning, if you opt not to register with special services at the beginning of the term, but decide later to turn in paperwork, you cannot go back to the assignments that, you have, that have already been submitted to do makeup work. So if you're a student with an IEP or 504 plan, I encourage you to make note of Mrs. Greenwood's contact information. This is how you will have those services put in place and ready to go for the start of a semester. When you enroll in dual enrollment, you have access to all of the campus amenities and services. So just a few services to mention, we have the GPTC library with access both on campus and through an online database. As a dual enrollment student, you'll also receive textbooks from the GPTC bookstore. We have tutoring and academic assistance in our success centers and an active student government association with clubs and organizations. Now, these are just a few of the opportunities that are available to you as a GPTC student, and I encourage you to take advantage of all services and amenities while you're enrolled in the college. So we've talked a lot about, about a lot today and much more that is written in the Student Handbook and College Catalog that's available to you. These two items are found on the college website and are important tools as you navigate college. Please take some time and review these documents Consider them to be the contract between the college and the student outlining your rights and responsibilities. This information is also include in a truncated form in our new student packet that is part of the application process. Also, even though you are still enrolled in high school, you are considered a college student once you enroll, and we consider you to be just that. There is a law called FERPA that quite simply puts restrictions on what information we can share with anyone other than the student or educational partners like your high school counselor. This means 
If a parent or guardian calls and asks what your grades are or wants a copy of your class schedule or know if you were in class that day, we cannot share that information. There is a FERPA waiver that is on the GPTC website that students can complete that gives access to the student record. So students, if you want your parent or guardian to be able to call the college and ask questions or advocate on your behalf, please fill out that FERPA form before the start of the semester. Before we close, I wanna share a few tips for success to get you started in the dual enrollment program. First, make sure you're in the right mindset. This is college. So even if you're taking classes as a high school student, we have the expectation that you treat these classes like the college classes they are. Also, know what classes you're registering for. Especially since there's a limit on how much funding you can receive through dual enrollment, it's important that you're picking classes that are going to benefit you now while in high school and after you graduate. Third, ask for help. If you're unsure on anything, make sure you're reaching out to a college staff member or once you're enrolled in classes, communicating with your instructor. We cannot help you if we do not know that you need help. Next, Make sure you're staying on track with your schedule. If you have a heavy load at high school, are involved in after school activities, work, or help out at home, think about how much dual enrollment you can add to your plate. Overloading and not doing well is not going to help you in the long run. Next, keep track of those dates and deadlines, especially as they may be different from your high school calendar. Focus on your study habits. You cannot wing it in the college and then expect an instructor to give you makeup work or let you turn in something after the deadline. It's important that you're on top of things. Finally, make sure you stay tuned in to what is happening. Keep an eye out on the GPTC calendar. Follow your college email for important announcements from the college and from your instructors. And be actively involved in GPTC and your college experience so that you can get the most from benefit from this program that you possibly can. So I want to thank you all for listening today. That was a lot of information and I'm sure you still have questions and we want to hear from you. The best way to reach us is by email at dualenrollment at gptc.edu and we can facilitate an in-person, virtual, or phone conversation to help answer those questions. Thanks again so much for your time, and we look forward to you joining our program.